Oscar, namaste, how are you doing dear? Great to see you. Who else is this? Uh, Sylvia, Alice, uh, Vino, uh, Micah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not very good with the names. The writing's so small, I don't have my glasses on. Martin, great to see you. Very warm welcome, you blossoming Buddhas. Thursday, six o'clock, live meditation with yours truly, drunken monk. Every week since two years now, isn't that amazing? Hello, dear Oscar, so lovely to see you. Okay, it's 25 degrees here today, so uh, I hope it's lovely wherever you are. And if not, don't worry, the bad weather will pass and the good weather will, will arrive. This too shall, shall pass, right? So before we dive into the meditation, in fact, dive into the meditation, start now. Connect to your breath, connect to the present moment, let go of the past, the future. Let's all connect together right in this moment in the virtual sanctuary. A very quick announcement that I have it's all to do about the treasures of our heart, you know, the, the richness that we have inside. So if you're ready to be really nourished, to open up to deeper joy and excitement about your life and to overcome, you know, the uncertainty of the future and to really embrace it with, you know, fullness and certainty, you know, let go of all the fear, let go of all the stress and move into a higher vibration. That's really what the heart is. The power of love is the heart. It's raising the vibration. It's letting go of all the things that hold you back and living this beautiful life and fulfilling your purpose to awaken. This is why we're here. Come join me. It's going to be two weeks of just nourishing not only for yourself, but for others around you. And I'm going to be sharing so much stuff. I could talk about it for the whole meditation, but let's just dive in now. So connecting to the present with the breath. And if you noticed, everything is in cycles, expansion, contraction, planets moving in circles around the sun, day, night, male, female, sunrise, sunset. And the breath is also a cycle. And it's such a beautiful tool uh, to be able to master the art of being connected to the breath each and every moment. Not obviously fully with your complete attention, but just having the feeling of it so that you're sensing the movement, the rhythm of the moment. Being in the present is where we find fulfillment. It doesn't come from thinking or worrying about the past or it doesn't be, or being afraid or stressed about the future. The, the aliveness, the, in, the richness of who you are is here and now. So let's dive in. Following the flow of your breath. And as you breathe in, the air, the energy, the prana, is flowing into your lungs, flowing into all of your cells. Each of the 50 trillion cells in your body gets nourished by the oxygen. Breathing, the breath brings into the body, but also energy. Now the next thing, that moment of stillness. This is where the gold is, when you're neither breathing in nor out. There's a moment of stillness. Capture that. Amazing. The mind stops, doesn't it? And the other treasure of the breath, breathing out. Because you're breathing out, your body is relaxing, especially when you're breathing consciously. And as your body is relaxing, your energy is expanding. Like when a wave reaches its peak, the moment of stillness, the turning point, and then it collapses and it expands, it spreads, energy spreads out. And then again, that moment when you're neither breathing out, and just before you start breathing in, there's that moment of stillness. That's a sweet spot. Capture that. So let's just follow the breath. Just find your rhythm. It doesn't matter about pacing or counting or doing mantras or anything. Simply resting in the part of you that is aware 
and observing the flow of your breath. As if you were just simply watching it, as if it belonged to somebody else. Just letting the breath flow in the way it would like to. And it may be that you feel some emotions, there may be some tension there, it may be difficult to breathe in or breathe out. Just, Just flow with that. There's no resistance to what is. It's simply connecting to the aliveness of this moment. Being at peace with it, being connected to it. Breathing in, a moment of stillness, breathing out, energy expanding, another moment of stillness. So what we're doing with this practice now is connecting more deeply with the present moment, but with yourself. Connecting with the aliveness of yourself. Becoming more aware of feelings, emotions, any tension in the body. Just shake that out. Let your shoulders drop. Feel your lower back and your legs relax as you start to merge more deeply with the earth, with the ground. And again, as you're breathing out, that feeling of letting go. Almost as The same as when you're falling into sleep, that feeling of just, ah, no efforts required. Just this feeling of letting go, non-resistance, non-judgment, simply observing. And this is the key as well, to move into being more present, this feeling of grounded presence, simply being aware. But your focus is on the flow of your breath. And just holding it there. And then expanding the awareness into listening to sounds, feeling, emotions, sensations within and around the body. And relaxing with it, being at peace with what is. So that's the first step, connecting with yourself and also being aware and appreciating this moment, this sharing, this connection that we're all here together in this space of meditation, in this virtual sanctuary, raising our vibration, opening the heart, and connecting with others, beautiful souls, beings of light, awakening Buddhas, that you all are, like a wave connecting to other waves in the ocean. It looks like it's separate, but deep down, we're all connected. We're all just from the same source, the same stuff, the same consciousness, this quantum field. Just feel into that for a moment. What does it feel like for you? What does it mean for you? What is your feeling about it? What's your sense of it? And this is the heart. Being vulnerable, feeling. Staying with the breath, still flowing with that rhythm, but just dialing up the awareness a little bit more. Listening, sensing, being awake. relaxed in this effortless awareness. Being conscious doesn't take any effort.
and the thoughts are still going to be there. So they're going to keep flowing. There's a momentum, maybe, or some story that's got you, and it's it's okay. It's normal. It's not. It's what the mind does. You simply hold your focus on being present, connected. And then you'll notice more and more the gaps between the thoughts get a little bigger. The less energy you give to thinking, the more energy flows into presence. The more energy that flows into presence, the more aliveness arises within you. sense of joy or peace, feeling of expansion as you breathe out. And if you find yourself flowing into thought, it's okay. It's a great tool. The mind's a wonderful gift. Notice that. Know that you have the choice to flow back into the moment, stillness. You may even feel as though thoughts are like raindrops little bubbles of energy just falling into your heart space. Just melting like shooting stars. You're observing that. Rooted in the here and now. Aware of your body, breath, emotions, heart and mind. Aware of this energy field we find ourselves within. This feeling of being connected. being absolutely present. And aware of the, the richness of the moment. And there's no past and there's no future. There's a feeling of energy and the juice of life comes from this moment from being here being now and from falling into that especially as you breathe out letting go into the stillness, the gaps. Yet staying absolutely aware.
as we come to the end of the meditation, just connect to that a little bit more for another minute or so. Just to really settle into that beautiful space of silence. Thank you so much. Thank you, Oscar. Namaste, Gaso. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever the weather's like, this too shall pass. The sun shall shine again if it's not shining already. Okay, and happy Easter to you as well, Anne. Absolutely, I forgot all about that. <laughs> happy Easter, my dear. I hope your doggies are doing really well, Anne, and uh, sending so much love to you and, and everybody there. Andreas, Thank you so much. Great to see you. Happy Easter, Oscar. Alice, big hug. Linda, so much love to you and Alan. I hope you're well. Take care. Okay, Martin, thank you. Yes, happy Easter to everybody. Thank you. So, rum, rum, yeah, <laughs> rum bits. <laughs> Very warm well, welcome. Welcome to the Drunken Monk tribe. Thank you so much, guys. Namaste, Gaso. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening and I will see you all in the next session. Take care.